Hello. It's Super Bowl time, and uh, the Los Angeles Rams are going to be going up against the Cincinnati Bengals here in a little bit. And while well, we work with big cats at this facility, lions and tigers, and a lot of folks, they think, well, just because you work with tigers, that must mean that you're a Bengals fan. And that's not necessarily always going to be the case, you know. Um, and I figured... I figured, well, why don't we actually ask the Tigers themselves? Who do they want to win in this Super Bowl? Who are they rooting for? And some of the Tigers, you know, their answers might kind of surprise you. They may actually think of the Bengals and be like, hey, that's species appropriation. That's not cool. So, uh, you know, we, wanna, we wanted to ask them and uh, figure out, figure out what, what they think. I got, I got uh, pictures with the things. We'll see. We'll see what they choose. Fred Kona, Fred Kona. All right, I don't know. Okay, all right. He's his attention is elsewhere. So if I put these down here, like this. Okay, he wants the ball to win. He just roots for the ball. He doesn't root for the teams. He just wants the ball to win. Fred. All right. This uh, this is this is Leon Bandito. He's nuz he he did a nose nudge to the Rams. Nose nudge to the Okay, I'm going to say Leon Bandito is choosing the Bengals. Leon Bandito, oh, so that's one point for the Bengals. Okay, Fred. Fred Kona. Come on over here. Nose nudge to the Rams. Leon's keeping him from getting over to the Bengals. I think by default uh Fred just chose the Rams. So it's one for the Rams, one for the Bengals. Okay, the next up we got Jake. Okay, we got a little bit of a nose sniff for the Rams. A little nose sniff for the Rams. All right. Okay, I'm look, it, that was that was difficult to that was kind of confusing because he was sniffing at the Rams, but then he kind of put his paw up to the Bengals. I'm going to have to go ahead and say that the, the the paw move happened while he was sniffing at the Rams. I'm going to give that one to the Rams. Okay, so that's two for the Rams, one for the Bengals. And that was Jake. Okay, we got Ren. It's one of our Lady Tigers. Okay, sniffing at the Rams, sniffing at the Rams, sniffing at the Bengals, sniffing back at the Rams, sniffing back at the Bengals. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to say this, that's the Bengals. Okay, so Ren chooses the Bengals. All right, we're tied up. 2-2. Two, two. Okay, this is Shanti. She's going to be making her decision. Okay, a bit of a sniff at the Bengals. Wait, hold on, hold on. Coming back. Wait, she's confused, and now she's going the other way. And now she's coming, she's circling back. Laying down, sitting down. Really, the only one that she had any sort of interaction with was the Bengals, so I'm going to have to go ahead and give that one to the Bengals. So, currently, Bengals are three, and then the Rams are two. All right, this is Selena. She's an older lady. She's 22 years old. She's got a lot of wisdom. Okay, she's sniffing at the Rams. Sniffing at the Rams. Okay, she's giving a little... Not really much of a sniff to the Bengals. I'm going to have to go ahead and give that one to the Rams. Okay, we are back being tied. It is three... Three. Okay, so uh, Matthew Stafford, quarterback for the Rams, used to be a lion. We should probably let them weigh in on this one as well. So this is Noel, and she's been uh, sniffing a bit more at the Rams, giving a little bit of a sniff to the Bengals, going back to sniffing at the at the Rams, a little bit of a sniff. Okay, okay, she seems to be more interested in the Bengals one. But now, oh wait, her interest is shifting back over to the Rams. She's very interested in both, but I need a more conclusive sign. Noe, I need a more conclusive sign. Okay, I'm going to have to go ahead and give it to the Bengals, honestly, uh, because that's where she first put her paw up through the fence. So, 4-3. Okay, this one's got some opinions. This is Allie, another one of our older girls. Okay, Allie, I'm going to put these down here. Which one? Results are inconclusive. Okay, Melita is definitely wanting to weigh in on the debate. Okay, so Melita, 
I'm gonna put the one right there and I'm gonna put the other right there. Okay, so I almost saw, thought I saw a little bit of a nose brush, but honestly, I, I, I'm gonna have to go ahead and kind of disqualify that nose brush. Uh, I, I think that it was uh, out of bounds. Okay, she seems to be more fixated on me than actually uh, choosing. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next cat. Okay, Firebug, Melita's next door neighbor. Okay, oh my gosh, we gotta get these set up. Gotta get these set up. Okay, all right. Fire, go. The floor is yours. Okay, your, <laughs> your nose was down in the vicinity of the Rams and you're kind of bowing towards them. I'm gonna go ahead and give that one to the Rams. Okay, we're back to being tied 4-4, four, 4-4. Four, four, four. Good job, Fire. All right, Diwali, we need some conclusive, we need some conclusive feedback. Okay, sniffing at the Bengals, sniffing at the Rams. I believe that's a vote for the Bengals. All right, we are 5-4 Bengals, 5-4 Bengals. This match keeps going back and forth, back and forth. Okay, there's some new data. There's some new data. Okay, we're gonna, wait a minute. Nope, yep. Upon further review, I call the call on the field stands. Uh, point for the Bengals, moving on. All right, Nadal. All right, all right, I got, I got this one here. And I got this one here. All right. Sniff at the Rams. Sniff, kind of. I'm going to have to... I really have to say that the, the most activity, the most interest that he showed in either one of them was at the uh, at the Rams one. So we're back to being tied. 5-5. Five, 5-5. Five. Five, five. I don't think Arali understands the rules of the game. All right, we are currently tied up, Slade. We need you to break the tie. We need you to break the tie. So please, select once and for all. Sniffing at the Rams. Sniffing at the Bengals. Sniffing again at the Rams. And that is it. Slade is the tie break. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to... Oh, this is Slade. You're being too confusing. I need more. I actually, all right. More data has been made available. It's honestly gone to the Bengals. Hey, what did what did you know? The Tigers actually chose the Bengals. Who'd have thunk it, huh? I thought that that was uh, you know not going to happen, but it did. So congratulations, Bengals. Uh, the Tigers. The Tigers chose you. Sorry, Rams. Well, best of luck to you is both. And then uh, the halftime show by by Boomer. Well, the post post game post actually no, that's po technically not true. Post game analysis from Boomer. Very nice. Tell us about some of the things you saw. Ooh. <laughs> Good insight. 